Welcome to Creative Tuesday, guys. My name is Jordi for Cinecan.net, and today we're going to make some photos come to life. Cinemagraphs is a fancy name for moving pictures. It's definitely not something new, but it has been getting quite popular among advertisers. Instead of showing a static picture of their product, they would add one or several moving elements in it to draw more attention. Now, we also gave it a shot with this delicious coffee, only $149, which gives you unlimited coffee for an entire year. No, wait, that is for video blogs. With that single price, you can download unlimited stock videos, video effects, slideshows, animations, and 100,000 more video assets. They're not just a sponsor of this channel, I've also been using it for a long time now, and their library has helped me out on so many film projects. Definitely make sure to check it out, or at least give it a try by following the first link in the description below, and that way you can start a 7-day trial completely for free. So there are multiple complexity levels when it comes down to a cinemagraph. You can make it very simple, like this rolling skateboard wheel. You just film the skateboard from a tripod as you twist one wheel. In Adobe Premiere Pro, you then place the shot of the skateboard in your timeline and make a duplication of it to video track 2. We'll freeze the clip on the bottom, like shown here, and then select the upper layer. Go into your effects controls and take the pen tool from the opacity to create a mask around the skateboard wheel. So now you have a freeze frame on the bottom, which is essentially a still picture, and only that one wheel which is moving. This is the most basic cinemagraph you can think of, and it doesn't really blow someone's mind away because everything in your shot is static. In our blog, which you can find the link to in the description below, we have some more examples of some really stunning cinema graphics. And what makes them stand out so much is because the still picture is freezed from an actual moving object, and it's not a skateboard on the ground. For example, us humans, even when we sit still, we kind of move because of our breathing. It happens organic, just like rain, wind, water, animals, and so on. They all move organic. So if we would make a cinema graph like this, it becomes more interesting, but also a little more complex. But it's a lot of fun, so let's see how to pull this one off. First up is the setup, and there are a few things in our shot that have to be still super still, namely the coffee can and the muck. So I'm going to place a light stand on which I can lean the coffee can on. The same thing can be done with the muck as well, but if I would place a light stand underneath that, it would come in front of myself. Essentially not a big problem, but this means that we'll need to clone stamp this afterwards in Adobe Photoshop. So if you're familiar with that, you can do it this way. But if you want to keep it all inside Premiere Pro, then what I suggest is to clamp the muck against your chest with any object you can find. Important is that you don't see that extension object. And now you can just pour in the coffee, but as you do so, do your very best to stand still as much as you can. This is all shot on a tripod, which is very important because of the masks that we'll create later on. And for the last step, you want to film an empty shot as well. So now you can take it all into your Premiere Pro. Move the empty shot on the bottom and the other shot of you pouring in the coffee on the track above. You already want to take a duplication of that, just like with the skateboard example. I'm going to disable that duplication for a moment because we're going to first remove the light stand from the shot. Take the pen tool from the opacity property and draw a mask around that stand. Make sure it's precise and that you take time for this. You only have to draw this once. When you're done, go into the mask properties and invert it. And this will leave a gap in the clip, but because we have an empty shot on the bottom, it will appear as you've magically made the light stand disappear. So these two clips can get freezed now by right-clicking on them and choosing frame hold. But because this is a still frame, you could have also exported this to Photoshop and remove any objects in there, which of course gives you a lot more control, but again, you need to know Photoshop for that, of course. Now let's enable the upper track again. You want to draw a mask around the coffee coming out. Look for a point where the coffee flows evenly, because the idea of a cinemagraph is that you have an infinite loop. So try to find a point where the coffee flow looks the same on the beginning as on the end. By setting your playback in repeat, it could already come out great. But if that is not the case, you might want to add a little transition in between. And because it has to stay in an infinite loop, we can't just copy and paste this whole bunch a couple of times. We need to retain a short clip that can be played back in repeat. So we need to have our jump cut in the middle of that clip. What I'll do next is make a cut in the middle of the clips. I switch the left and the right parts, and now we have that jump cut in the middle, and the beginning and the ending of the clip match perfectly now. So what I can do next now is add a morph cut transition on the coffee flow in the middle. You can also try this with a cross dissolve, but this is how you can make your cut less visible in a repeated video. 
Now, to fine-tune the cinemagraph, we could, for example, mask out other moving parts as well, like the coffee in the can itself. Or what I also did was adding some steam in the coffee mug. I downloaded a smoke video from Videoblocks, which I could blend, reposition, and mask to make it fit above the mug. And it are these details which makes it so awesome. If you're creating one of these cinemagraphs, make sure to upload it to Instagram and tag us in your post. We'd love to see what you guys are making. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative. Ah! Fooled you! Another moving picture! Look, a red car driving in the air. Yeah.